Chile. Well, of course, taking to the field for the first time in this edition of the most prestigious festival in world football. No doubt looking for a performance to set a tone. There's his great vocal support. There are many, many who have travelled to watch them and every one of those supporters willing them to give everything back for the cause. It is beautifully set here. Day one, and everybody eager to get off to a good start. Yes, and that's very apparent, Peter. Competition football is a different beast entirely, and you have to be prepared to dig deep to prevent everything going south very quickly. So this could be a, a tentative standoff in weighing each other up. I hope we'll see more probing than possession. So it's a well he's played a, as a central striker. I prefer him operating out wide, where he enjoys more space, and that enables him to generate greater momentum for a one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, I think he's a huge threat. Yes, he's certainly the one who carries the hopes of his team. Guerrero pings it out wide, and it's got through. Well positioned to make that interception. It into the middle, meets it first time. Cueva with a long pass. Oh, it's die-hard defence and the willingness to put his body on the line. Very impressive. And it's been taken straight back. And it's Vidal. Arangis. Here it comes. in towards the centre. Danger averted for now. The defence can get it clear. Shot a goal! There it is! And Chile are ahead! Oh, the invitation was received with such a clever run. And he had that defence in, in utter confusion. Chile take the lead. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Cueva dinks one in. Vidal. Eduardo Vargas. And he's there to cut it out. And out to safety. Cuts it out. With a delicate ball. Another to add to football's endless list of could-haves and should-haves. Ah, quality deserted them when they really needed it. Guerrero, good challenge, he just stood firm. Guerrero really got caught in a trap there, and he just couldn't get out. Andre Carrillo, Guerrero... Peru have it back and they can go again. Is it in? It's a goal! What about that, Jim Beglin? It's really a problem when that much time is afforded the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, I think this is a case of anything you can do, we can do too. I mean, they're matching each other like for like here. Now it's Vargas. Vargas. That is a terrific run. It was physical. No nonsense. And it had to be. A ball and direct. Coached through.
there. Andre Carrillo. Guerrero. Timely intervention. Up towards the front line. He's left his man. Eduardo Vargas needed to come up with a better ball. Eduardo Vargas clearly is miffed having made the run and not get picked out. Arankis. And the referee brings the first half to a close. Genuinely interesting game here. Very, very watchable. Two goals, one each. And then they come for the break with nothing to separate them. The score, 1-1. And we're already into the second period. No changes at the interval from either side. Flags up. He realised he was going to be flagged, didn't he? And he tried to escape it. And it's Vargas. Forward it goes. Cueva. Hoists it high. Looking for space out wide. Great lead! And he's there to make a great save. Well, you can't ask for much more than that. A difficult moment he simply had to deal with. He's through. Eduardo Vargas. him this time but I'm sure he'll go again well the further he went the more attention he attracted there was just way too much pressure for him to get the shot away Andre Carrillo they're actually not getting too tight which is interesting it's probably Cautionary, uh, don't dive in, try to pinch it or, or intercept so nobody can get in behind. It's being played forward. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. It's the through ball. He's gone for it! He's to get it forward quickly. Good idea. Just poorly executed. And sprayed out wide. And he's there to hoof it away. Yeah, he's offering an apology for that. He needed to deliver a better ball. Throw it. Be a throw in. Cueva with the crossfield ball. Arankis. Forward it goes. Well, no doubt someone is being given special treatment here. Yeah, and having played his part in the whistle's gone, and the referee has given a penalty. Chile have themselves a chance from the spot. Well, they can protest all they want, but a shake of the head is all they're going to get. Yeah, well, they were exposed and, and vulnerable, and he knew he had to do something to prevent a goal. And the ball is on the spot. Here we go. Someone has been forced to pull up lane here. Yeah, and I hope for his sake that it's it's cramped, meaning it'll be a quicker fix. He's going to continue, it seems, albeit a little gingerly. Played it. It's one! Yes! the roof! And how about that for a volley? Executed to perfection. Oh, look, there's always a bit more satisfaction in executing a first-time volley. And he'll be buzzing inside after that.
decisive lead. Well, look, Peter, I feel I've got to stress that there's still time for another, so we can't be too presumptuous yet. Guerrero pushes it out wide. Just brushed off the ball there. Well, that's pretty clear. It is a foul. Look, with time running out, they have to get the ball in the penalty box, and if it means a long punt, then so be it. They've got to give themselves a chance. Out wide to the right. Tries to get it forward quickly. Oh, that is lovely footwork. Guerrero shapes the shoot. They've scored! We thought it was over! It's all square once more! Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they've perfected that on the training ground because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. They really commit forward in numbers, too. It was all very well drilled. And time is up. Chile 